single idea has the potential to change healthcare forever. And the UK has an impressive tradition of innovation that has transformed healthcare. The BMJ have invited innovative champions to battle out a decision from you about what comes next. On to our first pitch. I would like to introduce Professor Josh Silver, Director of the Centre for Vision in the Developing World. Josh describes himself as an experimental atomic physicist who became interested in vision in the mid-1980s, when out of curiosity, he created several fluid-filled lenses. Josh is going to tell us how to make eyeglasses for everyone in the world who needs them for about a pound and deliver them without the need for eye care professionals. I get this letter from the European Patent Office. It says, we have nominated you as European, pa European Inventor of the Year 2011. I'm amazed. Uh, for a patent which was actually filed, uh, its priority date is in 95. It's estimated that around 60% of the world's population would benefit from some form of vision correction. In the developed world, this means a visit to the opticians. But worldwide, only about 10% of the population have access to this luxury. So half of the people on Earth need glasses and they haven't got them. Josh Silver may be about to change this. Now, I'm an atomic physicist, and I just do things out of curiosity, really. I was sitting having coffee after lunch, and some chap said to me, can you make a variable focus lens? And I said, nah, nah. And then I said, well, yeah, hold on a minute. Yeah, yeah, you can make a variable focus lens. And here it is. This is my first variable focus lens. And then, this is my lens number two. This one is much better than that one. I want to make a lens that has a variable power. So what I do is I pump fluid into the lens. What happens is these plastic surfaces bow out. So I have a lens and the surface curvature of the lens is under my control. The more fluid I put in, the more curved the surfaces get and the stronger the lens gets. Alternatively, I pull the fluid out, the surfaces of the lens curve in, and I get a negative lens. I made this thing, I just held it to my eye and changed the power. I noticed that with this lens, I could accurately correct my myopia. So we then created this thing. I need prescription eyewear, so I'll make myself a pair of glasses. I cover up my one of my eyes and I adjust the lens in the other eye until I've got nice sharp focus. Okay. Then I do the same with this eye. Okay, I can now see the camera that's looking at me. Both of my eyes, fine. The situation then is that there's roughly half the world, half the people in the world, need vision correction today and don't have it. A billion, two billion, something like that, very large number. The benefits of this relatively simple technology seem clear, but does it work in practice? A series of trials were conducted in several countries what you want to do is to take a group of subjects and get them to make their own eyewear to what they think is their own prescription. And once they'd finished, an optometrist would take the eyewear, test to see what power they'd set, then run a refraction on them and compare the results of a refraction with what they'd set. And that shows that this process works rather well people can find their refraction with rather good accuracy. This device, although it was essentially created for a trial, is also created to be worn. And so if you want to wear something like this, you, you typically don't wear it with the adjusters. Having got it set, you then um, you take a screwdriver and you seal up the screws. Okay, and I will take a pair of scissors Remove these adjusters. There we are. Take them off. And there we are. So in that process, as you saw, it took me maybe a, a, the order of a minute to make the eyewear. 
and then I remove the adjusters and I've got it's instant eyewear. Our work has demonstrated that the very large majority of people can make eyewear good enough for many of their needs themselves. That isn't the end of the story. I'm not sure that everyone in the world would like to look like this when they wear their eyeglasses. This is really a demonstration model. One of the next challenges is to make the device aesthetically appealing, and that is being worked on. So what did the panel and the audience think of Josh Silver's idea? Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Hold up your cards. <laughs> I think it's the glasses. What do you think, guys? Yeah. It's the glasses. Josh, congratulations. Come forward and meet your audience. Actually, I want to get a billion people wearing the eyeglasses they need by 2020. It's extremely uplifting when you give someone eyewear, they adjust it and they say, wow, I can see, that's fantastic, you know? It, it, there's a sort of wow factor.